By and large today, the world has become vindictive. If anybody tramps my toes, if anybody raises his voice, I want to institute legal action against him. And this divides us and creates discord amongst us. There was a particular incident where the Master وسلم, exhorted the Sahaba to spend as well in his path. And the Sahaba gave whatever they had. They donated. They generously made available of their funds. There was a Sahabi by the name of Ulbah radiallahu anhu, a very prominent devout companion from amongst the Ansar. He didn't have the economic muscle. He didn't have financial clout. So he didn't own a dime. He was a pauper. He had absolutely nothing in his pocket. But look at the zeal in his heart. So he stands up by night and look at this dialogue that he has with his creator. Oh my Lord, you have exhorted us to spend in your path. And then by your divine decree, you haven't given me wealth. So that's your choice. And I don't frown or object on what you've allocated for me. But tomorrow, my fellow companions will make a rich contribution and they will make a donation and I have absolutely nothing. So I am going to offer to you something which is not monetary, it's not visible, it's not tangible, it's invisible and intangible. What is it? Oh my Lord, any Muslim, any fellow brother who has ever hurt me, insulted me or violated me or potentially will hurt, insult or violate me, I am forfeiting my right of retaliation. This is my donation to you. I don't have money, but I have unconditionally forgiven every person who has insulted me and every man who will insult me. The next morning when the Sahaba came, each one came with the rich and the healthy and the handsome contribution. He modestly sat in one side because he had nothing much to offer. The Master وسلم, was kept abreast through divine revelation. He said, the gentleman who gave charity last night, can he please come forward? Again, he never thought the reference was about him. He thought monetary donation. Nobody stood up. The Prophet وسلم, said, the man who forfeited his self-esteem and who had forgiven everyone, can he please come forward? I have confirmation from Allah that his charity has been accepted first. Abshir, Abshir, congratulations. You are justified to rejoice. Your donation has been accepted. Imam Shafi Rahmatullah said, anybody who has insulted me, my senior, my junior, my peer, my neighbor, my partner, I have forgiven him. I don't want to be the means of keeping someone's entry into paradise suspended. My lack of pardon mustn't become an impediment for someone's entry into paradise. Or at its least, if my lack of pardon doesn't deny him paradise, surely it will hurt the heart of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam.